All week long, we are informing you about weather that can strike this time of year. We've certainly heard about the dog days of summer, but how about the wet days of summer? There is one summer day in particular that was particularly rainy. On August 4th, 1979, 6.31 inches of rain fell at TF Green Airport. That is the most rain in one day on record at TF Green during the summer months. Remember, Weather Week continues all week on air and online. Be sure to download our WPRI 12 news and weather apps so you can get alerts sent right to your phone. Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we have dry skies today here in southern New England. That's the way it'll stay really for much of the week. The only exception would be on Friday. Let's get a look at what's happening now. Live Doppler radar not tracking any showers there. Threat tracker today, Wednesday and Thursday. Low chance of severe weather. Gorgeous right into the end of the week. Here's North Kingstown. Plenty of sunshine. Look at that nice, quiet weather out there on the bay. Barely a, a ripple out there in the bay. A few waves here at Narragansett Town Beach, enough so that we have some surfers out here. Haven't been many uh, big waves over the past couple of weeks. 81 degrees currently in Narragansett with a calm wind. 84 Providence, 83 Newport, 85 in New Bedford, about 81 in Smithfield. Cumberland right now at 81. Look at the dew point, 58. That's some pretty comfortable air for summertime, and that's the way it's going to stay through tomorrow. On Thursday, it begins to creep back up to what we call the humid uh, category. Satellite radar picture is nice and dry. Barely a cloud in the sky anywhere across the Northeast. We have high pressure centered out in the Great Lakes, sprawling out across New England right now. Area of low pressure offshore will stay away. Something else that we're monitoring is this area of low pressure near Florida. You can see all the showers and thunderstorms associated with it. This could potentially form into Tropical Storm Barry over the next couple of days as it meanders on off to the west. No threat to New England, but the Gulf Coast states certainly could be looking at some gusty winds and some heavy rainfall over the next uh, several days. So that's something that we're watching, but again, no impact to us. Hour by hour forecast locally calls for quiet weather right into the evening, sunshine through the uh, early evening till about quarter past eight and sunsets tomorrow morning sunshine looking at dry weather right through your Wednesday and Wednesday afternoon few extra clouds during the p.m. hours tomorrow but no problems at all forecast for your Tuesday 87 degrees inland a little bit cooler near the coastline with mainly sunny skies we will keep the clear skies tonight temperatures falling through the 70s in the evening so comfortable overnight lows about 64 degrees so it looks a uh, quiet overnight seven day forecast taking a look at Wednesday we are looking at temperatures top out in the upper 80s with sunshine few extra clouds during the p.m. hours but notice no raindrops here on Thursday we're looking at comfortable conditions about 86 degrees with uh, some sunny skies at the beaches on Thursday temperatures about 81 degrees or so with lots of sunshine on third on Friday rather we are looking at the uh, possibility of some rain showers probably starting on uh, Friday uh, excuse me Thursday night and continuing through at least Friday morning could be a couple thunderstorms in there. I'm not expecting a washout, but there will be some showers around on Friday. Right now the weekend's looking great. Upper 80s with sunshine could be an isolated shower, a brief thunderstorm on Sunday, but most of the weekend looks dry. Look at that stretch. Perfection. This is great. Even with a little blip on the radar, it's not bad. Kind of makes up for that spring where it rained like every day. You had to remind us. Uh, it did rain every day. I forgot about much. that. All right, <laughs> TJ, thanks so much. Stay with us for stories coming up tonight, starting live at 5. We are digging deeper into the scathing report of Providence Schools. New information on what city school researchers visited to write the report. The new at 530 Weather Week exploring summer threats. Southern New England is all too familiar with power outages caused by powerful storms. Well, now there's technology that could help get the power back more quickly. And we could see when we could see this used right here in the Ocean State. And new at 6, a bill to crack down on toll violators. It's now law. The Target 12 investigators look into whether it can help the state get back millions in unpaid tolls. Those stories plus all the day's breaking news later on Eyewitness.